Howdy folks, it's me, Vandy Mark, coming to you from the Bunker System. Coming to you from the Bunker System. Today we've got a um, uh, talk that I'm going to talk about something serious. Aww. Well, actually, I always talk about serious stuff. It's just dressed up in non-serious stuff. Okay. Um, I did the thing yesterday with the song, an allergy attack. So I thought it may be actually helpful if I describe what it's like to live in the Ohio River Valley and how I deal with it because other people, oh, it's a huge problem. Man. It's a huge industry. Okay? Uh, taking care of sinuses and, and stuff like that and allergies. Um, I'm pretty healthy and I try to eat okay, but <clears throat> you know, when you live, in, there's other there's other things that can you just can't control that you're gonna have, just have to take care of okay so let's see how does this start out uh, it starts out uh, back when I was about uh, 12 years old playing paddle ball with a kid two kids and the two kids were hitting the ball back and forth paddle ball is a ball that's on the end of a, 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 a rope attached to a pole and you whack it with wooden paddles like tether ball but with paddles a smaller ball. And I was refereeing the match and stepped in just as one kid took a swing and hit me right across the face with a paddle cake. Okay, broke my nose. I had blood all over the place. I thought this was going to be boring, but actually this is working out rather nicely. A white t-shirt with just blood streaming down. I run into the house. My mom, when a few times she just did go, oh, well, <laughs> that shirt will never come clean. <laughs> so she's like, ah. <clears throat> anyway. They didn't even consider my parents, and why would they, you know? I was a pretty tough kid. I didn't put up a big fuss, but it broke my nose. And it, 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 um, if this is the top part of your nose, up near your head, and it's the bottom part of the nose, it came apart and healed back together like that. So that caused a deviated septum, the right-hand nasal passageway, uh, closed up with that bone growing back together wrong again. I wasn't bothered by it until I got into college. And then I started getting sick a whole bunch, you know. Just, I was just sick a lot. And that went on until my, you know, for years and years, like for a decade after college, uh, you know, uh, 15 years anyway, 12 years. And, you know, I run and eat right, and, and but I'm just sick all the time. And at some point during that process, I realized what I was dealing with was sinus infections, okay, a bacterial infection. I had no idea. You got to kind of figure these things out on your own. So I go to the doctor, and now I'm starting to get every so often because it seems like you know, um, if you get a sinus infection and you deal with it yourself. Now I know I've heard doctors. I go maybe there's different levels of it, but you know, you, you your body can take care. Well, I did that, and I could have I could be sick for a whole month. You know, like The Walking Dead and tired all the time. Well, you can't breathe with a deviated septum, but I'll get into that. But you can't breathe when your sinuses are clogged up either, right? So uh, back, uh, antibiotics do cure of the infection, in fact, I think. And um, uh, so I would, I, I was, I would have to go to the doctor three or four times a year, you know, which is, they don't like to give out that much of it, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, oh, what happened one night is I had Sinus infection, couldn't breathe, couldn't sleep. I was tired, like, for, you know, half my life I'm walking zombie because I'm tired all the time because I can't effing sleep because of the, you know, can't breathe when you sleep, okay? And um, so anyway, I, somehow I had some nasal spray, you know, and I used it and my head went whoop. And it's like, oh man, that was like magic. <laughs> so uh, it was great. I uh, discovered that, and then when I would get bad science infection, I would, at least I could breathe and sleep. But I realized at that point that I wasn't sleeping because I wasn't breathing through my nose at night. So I went to the, another doctor. I went to an actual um, head, nose, <clears throat> head and nose specialist, head, nose, and throat. And, you know, x-rayed, and there you go, broken nose, okay? Uh, we'll set you up and we'll fix it. So went in and had it. Oh, it was the worst... Uh, surgery, you know, you go in early in the morning 
And oh, first of all, when they tell you don't eat or drink anything, they mean nothing. <laughs> My wife's a nurse. Okay. So I get up in the middle of the night, add a little grape juice. What could it hurt, right? <laughs> so the nurse comes in, 4.30 in the morning, I'm in there. Nothing to eat or drink. I'm like, oh, I had a little grape juice. I thought she was going to like pass out on the floor. She just looked at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, what? It's just a little grape juice. No big deal. <laughs> well, but apparently when they put you under, people have anything that eat or anything like that. They, I said, you're not going to operate on my stomach, right? No, but you can, you know, asphyxiate yourself. That must be a pronunciation with an accent. I have no idea. That's probably wrong. And you should. So that's why they don't want you to. So don't do that. <laughs> they tell you don't do that. Don't do that. Um, she was. My wife was horribly embarrassed. By the way, she was in the room, of course. Oh God, my husband. I'm a nurse. Look what he's done. Okay. So, oh, but I had a sinus infection, uh, and they did this nasal surgery. So for the next three days, not only is the nasal passageways all inflamed, but the head's clogged up with a sinus infection, and I couldn't take nasal spray because there, nothing. I was gonna. I thought I was just gonna blow my head off. It was, <laughs> that was amazingly horrible. Ooh, that was kind of exciting. You know, first the blood with the nose, and then blow your head off. Yeah, the references. Okay, there you go. So now, man, I'm gonna run over ten minutes, but this is very important because this all could help you if you don't understand why you feel like crap all the time. <laughs> so for the next couple of years after that finally healed up, it took about a week or so. Life was great. Man, I was sleeping, I was breathing, and then after about two years, things started to slow down a little bit, and I was getting clogged up again, and not sleeping and breathing. So I went back to the same guy that did the surgery, and he was like an old doc time doctor, you know. He said, ho, 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 it doesn't grow back. Like, what the hell are you doing in here, <laughs> you idiot? <laughs> then I said, because I'm thinking, could I have allergies? And then here's where he made a mistake, and he said, Nah, people have allergies, usually the back of their throat's white, nah. But I decided not to pay attention to him <laughs> and go to an allergist now that I'm thinking about this, right? But when you commit to allergy treatments, it's not like you go in and you're done in a week or two weeks. It's a subscription that lasts a very long time. I did it for three years. It's very they don't promise anything. <laughs> um, that's the kind of business I want to be in, where people come and pay me money, and I paint them a picture, but I don't promise it's going to make them happy. They, but they still give me the money. I don't know, because <laughs> I tell them it's going to like, like care, suck the wrinkles off their face or something. I don't know, but maybe not. I. <laughs> but anyway, so I did that for three years, and it's so gradual, incremental, and it did actually did have some positive effects. I believe. Well. First of all, I have to tell you that if you, if you, the main thing is controlling the surroundings in your house. Of course, if you have cats and dogs, like they, oh, at the allergy place, right? Well, do you have cats and dogs? Yes, a couple of cats, a couple of dogs. Well, we suggest getting rid of them. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just go home and put them in a bag and throw them in the river. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, so of course we didn't get rid of the cats and dogs, right? So, okay. Um, but what you can do that's cheap and easy and is really helpful is to buy casements for your pillows and your uh, mattress and box springs. And a casement is basically just a big bag with a zipper on the end of it. Okay, And there's expensive ones. The cheap ones work just as well. Get the cheap ones and seal all the, all the cuz you know you're probably allergic to dust mites okay dust and dust mites every you know there's dust dust mites animals mold and pollen that's it usually you're going to be allergic to more than just one thing so that's going to help and then they talked to me like well could you have a professional contractor uh, come out heating cooling contractor and install a HEPA filter on your furnace that may be a good idea I'm like, mm, that ain't going to happen uh, I went as far as even to buy one of these little black, expensive black boxes with the HEPA filter in it that circulates air. I could tell no difference. Okay. Uh, but I burn wood in the winter and ashes in the air, and that's, I just got to deal with it, okay? So, but I'm, what I'm saying is that allergy treatments and some preventive ma uh, ma uh, measures like casements for your bed uh, deal there is definitely uh, helpful to try the allergy thing. Okay, so 